Previously on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Hey, you just bumped me. From three feet away? You need some glasses. Also, you should probably get that checked out if you felt yourself getting bumped. You should also get that name checked out. That is not normal. Just having that name alone probably made you sick. Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventures. Welcome back to Spade Yell's Directions Game Boxing Channel with me, Jake Spins, who's also from Spade Yell's Original with Girl of Cyclones, Quincor, Floralai, and Vlogs. I said Floralai, really weird. See, there we go. I said it. I forgot that I sometimes mess that up, but uh, here we are back with some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In the previous episode, you guys already saw that. I forgot that doing that would, uh, Make Evoy look around. Wow. Um, we just got attacked by a bunch of... Literally, the game calls them punks. And Evoy's just like, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm interested in what's happening. But um, either way, though, she has a microwave. Can, can we use the microwave? I, I got some, some things to toast. My tea got cold, mate. No? Alright, fair enough. Fair, we don't we don't know you. Apparently we know your sparrow though. Is she looking at a picture of like I'm gonna guess that's her mom. Kinda looks like it was made in, in Smash Brothers. <laughs> like that's that's a stage. What if somebody made that weird picture? Well not that weird picture. I shouldn't say weird. That generic picture of that woman inside of Smash Brothers. Don't think I won't do it. I would do it. It would be weird, but I could do it. <laughs> oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Okay. First off, cool that we got the fly. It's probably how you actually got to, uh this retreat um but secondly there's there's some punks outside of your secret retreat unless those are supposed to be like your bodyguards i would be a little concerned you might want to call the police you know just saying i'm concerned for your well-being oh you're not gonna talk to okay was well, this gonna be thugs outside of secret retreat no I guess we could be using them. Alright, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the, the mailman can't get to her secret retreat, so she doesn't want to pay taxes. It looks like I went the right way for uh, for the secret. I mean, like, fly, that's, that's decent. It's basically like dig, but for fly types. Flying types, I should say. So it's like, in a way, it's good. Because if you, if you don't have a use really for dig, then you could always just use fly. But now that it's not an HM, you know, unless you feel like you're going to be in that necessary need for something like that, it's not a big deal. Pokemon Road is a downhill path leading to the sea. You should try having a nice little hike along it. With your favorite Pokemon. You know, we actually haven't had a lot of Pokemon out because we've been using Roxy. And Roxy has been doing really good to the point where we're actually getting hearts in battle with Roxy. So I feel like maybe it's time to like have some, some more screen time with another Pokemon. I don't know. The certain Pokemon. That will fly while carrying their trainer on their back. Because Pokemon Road is so wide and safe, it's possible to fly particularly free, free, <laughs> freely. Jeez, I've always had a trouble with like, you know, 30 between 40. No, that's... Well, freely between... You know, that kind of that kind of a thing. 
I don't, I don't like it. It's just hard. <laughs> Oh my god, just the, the tongue twisters that aren't really tongue twisters. It's just that I mix the two up. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. Oh, right. I forgot. My Pokemon are all gone. <laughs> Let me just really quickly, uh, well, I guess I should re-equip. Re-equipper. But uh, I'll be back in a quick second. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know what? I said I'd be back in a quick second. Well, I'm back because, uh, there's a Chansey. Now, uh, last time we ended up catching a Chansey on, like, the first ball excellent. And, oh my gosh, the amount of experience I gave. So, I doubt we can repeat it, but I would love to do it again. Oh my god, it's possible. Do it. No! <laughs> oh my god, I was so close! No! <laughs> oh, lightning doesn't strike twice, man. Oh no! Lightning doesn't strike twice! We were so close, too! The game knew! Oh my god, the fact that we even got that set up a second time was insane. Look at that difference! No excellent, no first catch. That's like double the amount and you have the original. Well, we do have um, Evoy at a new level though, so that's nice. Unfortunately though, both Ball Picks and Roxy aren't gonna be helped by that. Meowzy, Meowzy, now's really not. <laughs> I guess let's get rid of Taunt. You're not really going to be useless for me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that Persian. I'm not trying to lie to you, Meowzy. Oh my god, I wonder, I wonder if that was the actual thought process for the original, like in the anime. Where the Pokemon was like, no, I need my pretty trainer. And then got abandoned. And then ended up going into like this group and it ended up being like an abusive group of Pokemon and it was like god dang it Meowzy what are you doing <sighs> anyway though we also have a Dodrio that spawned I almost didn't go back for the Chansey and then I was like wait a minute I definitely need to go back for that Chansey because that's going to be a lot of experience wasted if I don't grab that oh we almost got in the circle yeah that's unfortunate this is a great ball, too, when it's even, like, partially red. What is up with these Pokemon cries? I don't understand. They're all just so shrieky. Yeah, that doesn't help the other Pokemon. That's so unfortunate. That could have really helped out uh, Vulpix, and it could have helped out Roxy. Roxy probably would have gone a little bit upwards. Bone Meringue. It is a ground-type move. Okay, the user throws the bone, it holds. The bone loops around to hit the target twice. Oh, okay, that's pretty decent. I mean, we're not using this Pokemon, so does it really matter? No. But even though it doesn't really matter, I'm still going to use it and look at it because I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to that family. And it might be exclusive to learning at that point. So, makes sense. Pokedex number is 85. Normal flying type, triple bird Pokemon. This is the, uh, oh, alright. One of Doduo's two heads splits to form a unique species. It runs close to 40 miles per hour in prairies. All right. Well, that middle one is probably the one that spawns, and it's like, but why? So then the right one is always the one it forms from. Because look at how annoyed it looks. It's like, I am half of myself. Oh my god. Dojo's existence is just really depressing. <laughs> I feel so bad for it. Because the heads are always fighting. 
Like, you could have a Pokemon battle of just, just Dotrio fighting itself, or whatever it's called. Anyway, though, I'm gonna meet you back at the route. Alrighty, and here we are. I decided to, uh, take Snowflake out, because you know what? We haven't seen Snowflake out in the field yet. And, honestly, we're taking a little hike. So we just, we gotta go with all that stuff. And... Three great balls right by a tur wind turbine. And that shadow is so cool. It, it kind of reminds me of one of those um, pinwheels. I think that's what it's called. Where you just like blow on it and it just like spins. I mean that's basically the general gist of what a wind turbine is. But it's, it's still cool like looking at the shadow. Looking at the actual model it doesn't remind me of that. But probably because right now it just looks like a stick. Where at the bottom it's just like. Randomly goes, so apparently that's the noise wind turbines make. Hey, oh, you want to fight? Okay, all right, sure, man. Oh, so this is a very pretty route. I'm very excited because there's all these like yellow flowers and stuff. Whoa, you have great Pokemon. Let me see. Sure, man. You know. You're gonna. St I mean, I'm on one side of you, and Volpix is on the other. So Volpix is just gonna run onto your shoulders and knock you onto your face. <laughs> wow, this just sounds like we're gonna steal his lunch money now. <laughs> Alrighty, good old Psyduck. Oh boy, Water Psychic. That's unfortunate. And it does resist ice. Unfortunately, it doesn't freeze it. So. That's going to be bad for this fight. Psychic. I mean, it's not going to be too bad. Does it have any... Okay, it doesn't have any affiliation with uh, with Fairy, though. So that's not too, too, too bad. And I mean, we could always just confuse it. Why not? <laughs> it's probably going to be a stupid idea. Confuse Ray hasn't done anything for us, but I mean, I wanna, I wanna try it. It's a good thing I didn't set up a second counter because that would have just gotten very confusing for me. <gasps> it worked, guys! Confusion works. It's not completely useless, or is it because it's just on a Psyduck and it's just naturally confused? <laughs> That's the real question we need to ask ourselves. Now it just needs to. Well, I was gonna say confuse itself. Now we don't have Dazzling Gleam. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'll just use Blizzard. It's not... It's it's resistant, but still. Okay, you know what? That does about the same as uh, what we were planning on doing. Also, how is Psyduck scratching us? He has these tiny little, like, flippers. I mean, I guess they're a little sharp. But I'd assume they wouldn't be that bad. Oh, boy. Oh, that wasn't too... I, I got a little afraid because I was like, psychic type move, that's not a good thing. Oh, come on. Uh, I guess I should have chose kept Aurora Beam. Fine, one more time. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, you know what? I have a feeling I should just use Ice Beam. And I was like, Thank God we are not having that issue. Honestly, though, next chance I get, though, I'm hoping I can get, uh, ooh, nice. And this is the first time we were really able to use that. But I'm hoping that we can get something that we can use more of, um, oh, great, you have another side. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm hoping we have something that I can use more of a, um, Another move we will unlock for fairy type that will have more move set ability to it so that we can just do more with it if that makes sense. Granted, I could always just use that uh, that PP item, the the one that gives you one more move on Blizzard, but at the same time, we just missed it three times. No! <coughs> I thought we hung on. I thought we made it. Not so much. And you know, bug for some reason is effective on 
or gets affected by psychics, so I guess we're just gonna throw out Evoy. We haven't seen her in a bit, though, so I guess it's fine. But we keep having to use revives and stuff on... Mm. So frustrating. We were, Look at how close we were, too. Taken down by... See, it's not even that we were taken down by a Fury Swipe. It's that we missed three blizzards. So we were... we really lost the ability to just survive that and we're losing so much experience with that pokemon now too literally this whole episode i think only one pokemon has been able to give vulpix that kick that we needed and that just stinks all right guys i'll have to be back because i have to heal again because i don't feel like wasting a revive all righty Oh, nice item. I didn't even notice that at first. I guess Snowflake fainting wasn't the worst thing. The one the one good side about flying is that you can just fly straight over to the Pokemon Center, have absolutely no worries, no issues. But then there are other times where you're in the middle of a route, you have to go heal, so then you can't just teleport all the way back, and that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, look at this! Pin, pin! Really? Jolteon says pin pin? That's weird. Model's nice, though. Oh, you're a little cutie. So like a darling Pokemon. Is she saying we look like a Pokemon? Alexis? Are you, are you saying that we're as adorable as a Pokemon? Or are you talking about to our Pokemon? I honestly don't know. No clue. I guess in reality, I should switch to Eevee because this is like kind of an Eevee type of fight. So that's pretty cool. So Jolteon is electric type, which is literally here. I looked at flying and I was like, oh, it's weak to ice. Good job. But is ice weak to it? No. Okay, ice is fine. Um, still though, I would like to uh, to switch out to Evoy. Cause seriously, this is this is going to be a bunch of Evoy based fighting stuff. Now, if I was playing this for uh, for keeps or whatever, however you want to put it, I would switch out to Roxy because that would be the smarter play. But you know, on the other side. This Jolteon has Pin Missile, which, isn't that like a bug type? Didn't we have that for Stump? And it was like, god awful. So let's see here. How do I want to do this? None of our moves are really going to be good against it. So I guess Batty Bad. I'll, I'll start with that quick attack. All right, that's not too bad. So far, no Lightning, which is pretty good because even though we wanted to have Lightning Strike, before, this isn't the type of lightning I want to strike. And I have a feeling Thunderbolt's going to be here somewhere. Or not. Or it's going to be just Quick Attack and Pin Missile. Critical? Yeah. <laughs> it's sad that it does that little damage that you can tell when it does a critical because it's so much more. Whoa, crit? No. That wasn't even a crit for us. Dang, Alexis. There's the lightning. Thunder. Oh, okay, that's not too... I opened my big mouth. Ah, oh, man. This is where my big mouth got me. That's unfortunate. And if I didn't have to switch out to, uh, to Evoy, it would have been fine. Meowzy, you really want to steal the show? No? Alright. I was caught off guard! Were you now? Were you really? Mm-hmm. I was in front of you. Yeah, I was in front of you, so... Can I talk to you? No, not playing with you. You're sad. Paralysis? Looks tired? Yeah. I don't blame you. Unfortunately, we can't heal you in, like, a fun way. We have to just go to the medicine stuff. Honestly, if I 
ended up being zapped by a, a thunderbolt, I would probably be pretty tired too. Not gonna lie. On the bright side though, I do have 20 paralysis heals. Forgot about that. Was that one the accident? <laughs> or was, that, was that for antidote? I honestly have no idea. Alright, well, considering that I have a theory of how this is going to work, I'm just going to switch Evoy over to there for right now. It's fairly accurate to how it was before, so that's not too bad. Do you want to battle my Pokemon? That was a little harder to do. Because <laughs> it feels so higher pitched. So my throw was like, spins, don't do that. Dahlia, nope. I, I just don't know one. <laughs> All right, Vaporeon. This is pretty cute. So the thing is, I guess now would be a time to mention that, yeah, we already know that Evoy can't really transform into, well, evolve is the actual word. Evoy can't evolve into any of its three. Oh, God, sir. Um, oh, wow, that's also really pretty. Unfortunate for us, but very pretty. Um, Evoy cannot evolve into Jolteon, Flareon, or Vaporeon, which we already do know that. Oh, Aurora Beam. Alright. See, not again. Um, man, I keep getting off track. But I guess now would be a good time to say which one I probably would have done. And honestly, out of these three, I probably would have done Vaporeon. Not any specific reason why I would do it. I just like the design of Vaporeon. And also, I even have a Vaporeon plush, too. Vaporeon is one of my favorite, um, out of the Eeveelutions. My two favorite design-wise. Really, you boy? Really? But my two favorite design-wise would have to be... Alright, I just want that health, <laughs> to be honest. Just that extra health. It's not going to be too much, but it was enough to KO, so that's nice. Um, anyway, though, my two favorites are Glaceon and Leafeon. Why specifically those two? I just looked at them, and I was like, I really like the design of these. So even though they're probably the two weaker of the evolutions, I still like them. I still think they're cool. Man... These battles are, like, really riling up. <laughs> but hey, Evoy, you're getting that spotlight again, so that's nice. Um, that one I got very lucky in, because had that love not been thrown out, I would have been in a lot of trouble. And I mean a lot of trouble. That would have been quite the issue. Alright, let's go to that Flareon. I figured out of any of them, Flareon would have been the one to, like, attack us first. Because Flareon just seems aggressive. Also, in this game, I think I've mentioned this before, too. But Flareon's model is really good. It's really adorable, really cool, and just awesome. Let me see your Pokemon, please. I mean, you're gonna see the one from my head jump down. I mean, technically, you're already seeing two. That's the funny part of when they're like, let me see your Pokemon. You're already seeing an Eevee and whatever's behind me, or in the case of Roxy, riding. So, like, how much more do you want? Also, I can cheat this. I can be that guy! Yo, it's super effective and it heals. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't have to do that, uh, that extra 20. Right. Didn't somebody else use a uh, double kick and it did like nothing? Maybe that was on Vulpix. <laughs> that would make a little more sense if it was on Vulpix. But when you think about it, would fighting be good on ice? I mean, I know ice isn't good on fighting, but think about it. If you punch a block of ice, either you're going to break it or it's going to break you. <laughs> So, and people slip on ice a lot. I guess that would be more for normal types, but that's not, that's not a thing to worry about. I'm happy now. 
I don't believe you for a second. You know, for, for text like that, you'd think they would have changed the animation up a little bit. I understand why they wouldn't, but you, one would think, right? A super lure? That's a thing? My god, no wonder why people are like, yeah, shiny hunts! Oh wow, I think I know what uh, what this route's all about, other than uh, Go Trio? I, we literally caught it. Mod Prime, so what is that? Whoa! Hey! Look at that! It's a regular Eevee! It looks different, though. Why does it look so different? Oh my god, we have 300 Pokeballs. With just regular Pokeballs. That's wild. Now you might be like, why are you catching an Eevee? Your starter is an Eevee. Well, for literally the reason why we just saw for what we were fighting. So that we can get a, um... Vaporeon, Flareon, and a Jolteon. And the reason why I paused wasn't because I forgot them, even though I literally just fought all of them. The reason why I paused was because I was actually saving the Leaf Stone to use for later for Evoy, or not Evoy, for an Eevee. And then I'm just realizing now, what reason do I actually have for saving it? Because you can't get that Pokemon in this game. So actually, realistically, I should just use it now. Like, am I right or am I right? I mean, we can save, I don't know, um, oh yeah, Ice Stone, we're going to use have to use that later oh we have to have them in the party okay i don't i honestly have no idea who else would be able to use it but uh let's uh let's throw them a bone because like Bul bulbasaur's line doesn't need it you can use it but bulbasaur's line doesn't need it so i don't know what other pokemon would actually specifically need it let's use it on that other bell sprout that we that we have, because, you know, that makes sense. Well, we already know where Meowzy is, so that's fine. Yeah, but we're also not going to use this Pokemon. And, wow, it's one of... We've had it in there for so long that it's one of our highest-leveled Pokemon. Which is just crazy. That's crazy to think about. Oh, we have three of those. You know, maybe I'll use all three of those on Blizzard. Maybe not. Well, I'm going to wait and see. Because that would be a good option. But it would also be a good option to put on something like Ice Beam. That I feel like we're going to have for a while. And that's actually going to be very effective. So there we go. Weeping Bell is finally evolved. Because I finally looked it up and found out that you actually need that Leaf Stone. So there's Victory Bell. Alright, Victory Bell. Let's see what you're all about. You are a Grass Poison type. Pokedex number of 71. Lures prey with the sweet aroma of honey. Swallowed whole, the prey is dissolved in a day. Bones and all. Wow, that made uh, the Pokemon anime joke of James always getting eaten by his uh, victory bell very dark yikes all right so his pokemon wasn't actually trying to love him it was trying to eat him that's crazy now i don't think we've had a ponyta yet i mean ponyta is a cool pokemon um uh, i'm kind of feeling spontaneous but at the same time i'm not feeling that spontaneous Plus, Ponyta is a very generic Pokemon, as cool as it is, and it does evolve into a Rapidash, but I'm pretty sure it's only fire, so I'm not too, too worried about that, because that's not too hard to really cover. Are you gonna... you gonna catch? Could you please catch? You are in the yellow, and this is an Ultra Ball. Thank you. Finally realized how ridiculous I was being. 
Maybe it's just the audio from the Pokeball. Because, <laughs> like, all of these shrieks are not pleasant. Oh my god, I saw a bird outside hop, and I was like, oh my god, is that Fred? Like, I thought I'd let him in, and I thought it was, like, his paw. And I realized, no, wait, that's not his paw. Oh, I yes. <laughs> Pikachu from above! Or is it Jigglypuff? I don't know. I didn't know it had those little flames, like, on its hind legs. That looks so uncomfortable, though. Alright, anyway, though, Ponyta! This is a female Ponyta, so I guess we technically could put it on the team, but... Again, not going to. Uh, Pokedex number is 77. Ponyta is female. It is the Fire Horse Pokemon... Capable of jumping incredible, incredibly high, it its hooves and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing. Wow, and that's just Ponyta. Ponyta. <laughs> Ponyta. Ponyta. I'm like a uh, Yui trying to say Kirito in Sword <laughs> Alright, I'm going to wait a little longer and see what else appears whoa there it is alrighty that's insane okay that is very insane I didn't realize it had a unicorn horn too but there is a ton and I mean a ton of ri ridiculous amount of Pokemon that you can find on this route seriously I saw a Pidgey I saw a Pidgeotto and I even saw a Psyduck. Like, there is a lot of Pokemon that you can get on this route. Alright, I just have to really hope that I do this at the right timing. Probably gonna do the animation again. And I'm a little nervous because I probably got pretty lucky. Oh, come on! It waited. It knew. You jerk. I was waiting, and then it was like, Throw the Pokemon. I th throw the Pokemon. Throw the Pokeball. I dare you. You know what? Raw catch. Raw catch. Raw catch! Hey! Yo! No berry. No berry. We did just use the berry. But we didn't need it. We didn't need the berry. We're running out of berries too. So like, I don't want to use it. But see, we through the power of patience, we already finished this line. That's wild. Rabdash is, and this is a male, 78. Again, Fire Horse Pokemon. Just loves to run. If it sees something fast, faster than itself, it will give chase at top speed. That's actually kind of cool. And uh, if you're wondering, how in the heck does someone ride this thing? Actually, the way that somebody rides this thing is that if it trusts you, it'll calm down and its fire will not burn you. That's scary. Especially since its mane would literally burn your face off. So your butt, your crotch, and your face would be completely incinerated. No thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for the nab nab berry, Vulpix. Should keep I keep saying that instead of snowflake. Alright guys, I've waited for a minute or two longer, and honestly I think that's as uh, as good as it's gonna get. So next time we are going to continue on over by this guy over here. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, share us out with everybody known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Keep those safe. Crap. We'll address this next time. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more from this channel, make sure to go to the left of the screen for subscribing and subscribing to my other channel and go to the right of the screen to check other videos. All right, see you guys later. Bye.